Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Highway to Hell. And I figured, you know what? I got a little bit of time before I have to do my next interview. So why not just go ahead and conclude the collection? So by the time these go up, it might take a while. I'm going to try to edit them and get them up as fast as I can. Uh, but I did want to get through the collection stuff. I wanted to be completely caught up on Ghost Rider, at least for the Danny Ketch stuff for the most part. Um, there is other Danny Ketch stuff that takes place after this. But I have everything in trade from here on out and some of it digitally. So it wouldn't make sense to make collection videos on them. But I do have a series called uh, The Original Ghost Rider and The Original Ghost Rider Strikes Again, or Rides Again. So I might do a video on those. Um, also, I have a, a series called Supernaturals, which has Ghost Rider in it. So maybe we'll make a video on that. Um, and then I also have, I, I have, what was it? Oh, Ghost Rider 2099. There is a Ghost Rider 2099 book that came out recently, like six or seven months ago. So maybe we'll do a review of that coming up and then we'll talk about the collection because I have almost every issue. I think I'm missing like two or three. So, uh, so yeah, we'll do a video on that too. So we have other Ghost Rider stuff. I also have every issue Robbie Reyes has been in for the most part, um, at least in his main solo series. So we'll talk about that as well. So we'll have other videos coming up for sure, but uh, that are collection videos, but only a couple more because everything after that I own digitally, like I said, or in trade. So it just wouldn't make for a very interesting video. But in this video, we are starting off in May of 1997 and we are gonna work our way to the finale of the Dan Ketch Ghost Rider stuff. So that's what we're here to do today. And we're gonna start with issue 85. And issue 85 starts off with Danny Ketch possessed by the sinister Scarecrow. So yeah, we have a slightly different take on Scarecrow, I think in this one, or a different power set with him. And uh, and we have Danny Ketch, you know, getting in, possessed by it. So, uh, so yeah, it's pretty neat. Cause I think maybe Scarecrow had died at this point and maybe his spirit had come back and, and interacted with uh, Danny Ketch. But, uh, but yeah, like I said, I get kind of blurry uh, during this part. And this was the last issue, remember I said in the previous episode where we did a collection, where I ordered issues 70 through 85 online on eBay for like close to 30 bucks, I think it was. And it was, what a great deal. Because a lot of these issues that we're going to talk about today, most of them, you can't find individually for less than at least 10 bucks, I would say. Some of them you could find for more, uh, you know, if the better condition you are. But even bad condition ones are still around 10 bucks, you know, for the most part. So these are, if you see these issues, like anything past issue 80, pretty much, of Ghost Rider leading up to the finale, they're worth some money, actually. Uh, not a ton of money, but you it's just surprising because you're like, oh, it's Ghost Rider. Like, you know, so a Ghost Rider, a random Ghost Rider issue is worth like $50. It's like, well, not it's not random. It's they printed so few of these. So they're just harder to come by. And so the better condition you can find them in, the more value they're going to be because there's just so few of them. Uh, so we have issue 85 here, came out May of 97. Then we have for June 97, issue 86. While the city sleeps, the spirit of vengeance prowls the night. And again, you're seeing the new art style. I think uh, a Pop Man was one of the artists. I know, I think Koi Fan did one of them. I can't remember if the Marvel Fanfare one was him or not, or if it was Pop Man as well. But I think Pop Man came in and started doing some of the art on these uh, after Salvador de Rocco. And so this was my introduction to Pop Man's work, uh, some of these issues. And again, redesigned. They still have kind of a leather jackety thing, but it has these big yellow spikes on them. So they went more of the color scheme of red and yellow, which was fine by me because he looks like Speed Demon. And I wanted, I like that. I'm like, yeah, lose the motorcycle. Just have him run fast. <laughs> I want a speedster Ghost Rider, man, because uh, Speed Demon was so cool. But yeah, so you get that. Then we have the famous flashback issue, which I can't remember if I talked about this in a previous episode or not, because chronologically, this would take place before issue one. This is actually a prequel to issue one. And you notice they have the old school lettering of Ghost Rider. They don't do the the, the newer one uh, here from this format. Uh, they go to the old school one. And so, uh, so this one is neat. It's a flashback issue. Before Blaze, before Catch, there was another and this is actually, it's not Noble Kale. It's not that story, I don't believe. I believe this is about their mother. Johnny Blaze and Dan Ketch's mother was a ghost rider. And this leads to how the motorcycle even ends up where Dan Ketch is. So this kind of explains the setup for issue one. And I thought that was just kind of neat because I don't think Howard Mackey came back and wrote this one. If I'm not mistaken, I think this might even be Ivan Vallet. You know what? Let's check because I think Ivan still did this one. And he was just like, hey, let's do a nod to what Howard Mackey did before. So I love these because rest in peace, you know, uh, Stan Lee. These always start off, these flashback issues always start off with Stan Lee in some way. Almost like he was the watcher uh, in some, you know, uh, and which they hint at in the Marvel movies too. So Ivan Velez Jr. and Javier Sotaris, uh, you know, one of the original artists 
on Ghost Rider 2. And they come back and they tell the story of young Johnny Blaze and Dan Ketch and, uh, and their mother becoming a Ghost Rider there. So, yeah, it's pretty neat. And how she got, yeah, how cool was that? Look at that. Who dares spill innocent blood? And she's got like a tree she's talking to. I mean, like this was cool stuff, man. Just so great. And so she does pass the mantle on to um, her son in a way, you know, like a, both of them in some roundabout way. And they talk about how the spirit gets trapped into the the crest that get put on the motorcycle, even as Stan Lee there narrating. It's pretty cool, man. I actually like this this issue. And I remember, I, I, it's been a while since I read it, but I do remember reading it. This took place, you know, obviously during Zero Tolerance. And during the Venom books we talked about recently, like, um, you know, the, the there's actually a Ghost Rider book that came out called Sign of the Boss. It was uh, Venom versus uh, Ghost Rider. But it's, I don't own those issues. I think you have to, they're like 25 bucks a piece or something like that. So I never, I own them digitally, but I don't own them um, an actual print. Uh, but that's just because I'm not going to spend $50 on them. Not right now, at least. Uh, maybe one day. But those would, you know, kind of release around this time too. So I don't have those two issues here. I do own them digitally, like I said, but I don't have the physical copies. And to be honest with you, Dan Ketch is not really in them that much. He doesn't do much in the book either. It's, it's mainly a Venom story, but, you know, Ghost Rider's in it. He does have a good amount of pages, but I just feel like it's not a big Dan Ketch story. Like it doesn't really enhance the character really in any way. Uh, it does show some of his humanity though. So that, that's something, I guess. Um, it thrives on human misery. Wallow, this creepy doll faced uh, villain, um, your guide to the Marvel universe. So in these books, after flashbacks uh, came out, you could open the book and inside there was like a pullout spread that would tell you about characters from this story and this universe. Um, Death of an Innocent, so we have Ghost Rider here, issue uh, 88. I think Josh Hood does the art on this one. Um, yeah, and it's it just deals with uh, the loss of a life and what Ghost Rider's response to that is, pretty much. Um, then we have Hounded, so we have like a werewolf battle creature. Javier Sotaris comes back, and this one for the art. Ivan Velez Jr. still writing it, obviously. Uh, but these are when, you know, they, they get expensive from here on out. Actually, right here, I got issue 90. This was $10 I bought at Comic-Con. Um, and I got to say, I only bought it because it was $10 because I had yet to find one for less than like 20 or 30 bucks. So they had one and had like one minor ding in it. And they were like, yeah, would you, you know, how about $10? And I was like, sure. So, he, you know, he, I think he had a different price tag on it, took it off and, and put 10 bucks on it so that the guy at the counter would, or the guy at the, you know, credit card machine would charge me the right price. So, um, so yeah, so, so yeah, 10 bucks for that. So I was like, yeah, I got to have that last temptation part one back in blue. So this is him getting back to his original costume. So obviously the, the red and yellow didn't work for everybody else. Yeah. Maybe it didn't work for Danny as a character. Maybe they could have given that look to a You know, they did give it to speed demon, <laughs> but maybe they could have given it to a different character. Uh, cause Danny just looks good with the blue top and the, you know, the black jeans and stuff and the leather. Like, I don't know. It's just, that's part of ghost riders thing, but I didn't mind the yellow and red because it reminded me of speed demon. <laughs> um, so yeah, we have, she'll steal your heart. So we have uh, issue 91 here, Watch Out, Ghost Rider, She Will Steal Your Heart. Um, and then we have 92. And again, this one has like a, a really big wrinkle in it right there. So I found this for really cheap. But normally this issue would cost a pretty penny too. But luckily I found it for really cheap because of that wrinkle. So uh, it says a ghost no more. So at this point, go, uh, Danny's having a lot of problems with his power, with his, spirits of, with his spirit of vengeance, uh, where it comes from, the crest and all that stuff. You can see it kind of branded on his chest there. He's struggling. He's losing his power. And there's a big battle that he's trying to decide between the, these two women, too, like Stacy, I think, and someone else. And who's going to live, who's going to die, and, you know, who's going to be his queen or something. I don't know. Like, it was a weird storyline. It got, it got a little convoluted towards the end here. Um, and then, yeah, so two brides for a demon, like I said. And you have one who's, uh, they're both kind of, uh, you know, I think they're embodying maybe Stacy's body or something and someone else's body. So like, like the love interest from Danny coming back in and then like, but demons kind of playing a part to it. I know this lady was the steal your heart lady from the cover a couple issues ago. So I can't remember if it was like demons trying to marry him or humans or what the case was going to be. Or maybe that was the struggle. Like, is he going to choose between demons or is he going to give up the spirit of vengeance and become human? We never really find out because technically this is the last issue and the book got canceled and although there's kind of an ending, there's not. There's also not really. Like, it didn't feel satisfying to a lot of people. So this is actually February of 1998. This is the last issue uh, that came out of Ghost Rider. And I know a lot of people were kind of like, well, what really happens? Like, it doesn't feel like a conclusion. 
And so because of that, people didn't know what to make of it. So luckily what we had, let me switch these because I noticed these, you know, these are out of order. Um, we have um, Peter Parker, Spider-Man number 93. Uh, Howard Mackey was writing Spider-Man at this point. This is right before they kind of did the relaunch where they went back to issue one for Amazing Spider-Man and Peter Parker, Spider-Man. John Romero Jr. draws this issue. And basically this is a story where Spider-Man interacts with Danny Ketch back on Earth because he was like, hey, we heard you. You disappeared. You went to hell. We don't know what happened to you. Like, is everything okay? And Danny isn't talking. He's actually not even really in control of what's happening. And the spirit of vengeance is kind of lashing out. And then Danny's humanity comes through towards the end of the issue where Spider-Man gets through to him. But I like this issue a lot. And I think this is Howard Mackey finding out, oh my God, my book ended and my character never really got a conclusion and nobody knows what happened to him. So I feel like since I'm writing Spider-Man, can you know, you probably ask Marvel, like, hey, can I put Danny Ketch in here and kind of tell one last story with Danny Ketch? Because I feel like he didn't get a conclusion. So in this one, Ghost Rider does kind of sail off at the end. He rides off on his motorcycle after saving the day with Spider-Man and uh, kind of getting part of his humanity back as Danny. And he's like, yeah, I gotta, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go away for a while. And he drives off. So it feels a little bit like a conclusion, although it doesn't wrap up the two demon queen storyline thing that they were doing it still felt like a nice send-off for danny so i got to give howard mackey some credit here for doing this issue because even though it doesn't fully tie in to what happened here it does reference it briefly but you don't really know the conclusion of this but you at least get a send-off for danny in this issue so this is an important issue because for a long time this was our last appearance of dan ketch because we literally never see dan again after this for a long time and in fact it's not even till Almost a decade later, when uh, when Jason Aaron comes on to writing Ghost Rider, and they and he brings Danny back as the Blue Ghost Rider, which is what this covers from. You have the Blue Ghost Rider there uh, from Heaven, and that's where Danny Ketch comes back. So that's the crazy thing is like the, that's the whole thing about uh, Danny is what what I loved about the character, but also the 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 tragedy of the character was that he sold Ghost Rider books more than Ghost Riders ever sold in history. It was Dan Ketch. He's the most popular Ghost Rider. When people think of Ghost Rider and they think of the look of Ghost Rider, they actually think of Dan Ketch. But then the movies came out and they had Nicolas Cage play Johnny Blaze and they were like, we're going to go back to the original Ghost Rider. But they still gave him Dan Ketch's motorcycle and Dan Ketch's outfit. He, if you look at the original version of Johnny Blaze as Ghost Rider, it, the movie version doesn't mimic that. It mimics the Dan Ketch version. So they, they kind of had their cake and eat it too. They're like, oh, we're going to bring Johnny Blaze back and we're going to make him look like Dan Ketch, Ghost Rider. And you're like, ah, oh, come on, man. Like, just say that for Dan Ketch. Give Dan Ketch a movie. And Dan Ketch is in one of the movies. Technically, his name's Danny. He's a little kid. He's in the second movie it's called Spirit of Vengeance. And maybe we'll do a review of that one day because Danny's in it. Um, but yeah, so anyway, in this version, uh, this is our goodbye. And like I said, after this, because the movies came out, they made Johnny Blaze Ghost Rider again. And it was random. It was just like, oh, let's just... He he was on his own path. He was Johnny Blaze. He, you know, Dan Ketch was the ghostwriter. Johnny Blaze went his own way. But they were like, no, we got to bring him back. And I never liked it at first. Uh, you know, they had Clayton Crane, I think, was one of the artists. And I was like, I don't like this version. I don't like that they brought Johnny Blaze back. Where's Dan Ketch? But I got to say, all these years later, I'm glad Johnny Blaze came back uh, in retrospect. It, it, it worked. And look at all the great stories we got afterwards. And now even the current book is great because Johnny Blaze is Ghost Rider and because he's the King of Hell. So, you know, it's it's time. Dan Ketch is forging his own path. He's getting off his own hamster wheel. And he's now the spirit of corruption. So, anyway, so this book was the last time we saw Dan for a long time until the early 2000s uh, and mid-2000s when they started to uh, hint at maybe Dan coming back, you know, in other runs. They decided to give Ivan Velez and Javier Soteras uh, and Mark Texieri comes back, and, and uh, Klaus Janssen, I think, does the uh, inks and stuff on it. They gave them an issue 94. So 93 is where the book ended, and then for like, I don't know, six or seven years, that's where the story of Dan Ketch ended, was Spider-Man number 93. But then they decided that they would, in the, mid, I think, mid-2000s, so like maybe 2005, 2006, they were like, we're going to bring back these uh, the creative team, to give him the ending. So this is like getting the Snyder cut, man. Like, that's what this felt like. And look, it was only four bucks. I, I, I bought this originally um, at uh, a place called Bad Apple Comics here in Orlando, back when I lived here in Orlando. 
And then when I moved out to LA, I couldn't find it. I, again, I think part of my, it went away in part of my collection. So I found it at Golden Apple for four bucks. So I was like, sweet. So I was able to get it again. Um, but that's, and I think that's how much it cost when it came out was three ninety nine. dollars So yeah, three ninety nine. dollars So this issue concludes the two bride storyline. This is Ivan Velez Jr. getting a chance to come back and tell his definitive ending. I mean, I'm not kidding. This is like the Snyder Cut. He got to bring his artist back, uh, uh, Javier Soteras, and then also Mark Texieri, who was one of the original Ghost Rider artists, uh, you know, for the Dan Ketch stuff and, and, bef- and some of the stuff before too, I think. So, you know, how awesome is that? And they got to come back and do a giant-sized issue, and they got to wrap up their storyline of, you know, Dan Ketch Ghost Rider and him becoming the king of hell, kind of. <laughs> like, how crazy is that? And now Johnny Blaze is, is the king of hell. So... Crazy stuff, man. Like, I, just really fun run. A lot of great things that happened. And like I said, fans like me and others, a lot of others, made such a big reaction to the fact that that ending never got told that seven, eight years later, they got to come back and tell their definitive ending. So this is it. And this is canon, I believe. Or maybe it's like a drifting canon. So if you don't reference it, you know, like they're not going to reference that Dan Ketch was a king of hell at one point uh, when Johnny is now. Um, but they, again, not a, not an original idea either of Johnny becoming king of hell. Uh, so, but you know, but why would it be, you know, it was in a, it was in a Donny Cates book and there's a lot of things that happened in Donny Cates books that have happened before. But I think Donny Cates has openly admitted like, yeah, I'm not so much, you know, copying things as I'm just referencing things that, you know, happened and making nods to it or putting my spin on those, those events. So it's like, okay. Yeah. I mean, of course, every writer in comics says that. So I'm I'm just kind of picking on him, but but still, you get Danny Ketch there as the King of Hell. So uh, so that's how that book ended, and it ended you know many years later after after its uh, final issue. So that's you know the entire collection there. That's the whole run of Danny Ketch Ghost Rider. I hope you guys enjoyed these videos. Like I said, we'll still do like maybe two or three other collections. I have Robbie Reyes. We'll do Ghost Rider 2099, and maybe we'll do one for the original Ghost Rider. You know, Johnny Blaze. Uh, we'll do those collection videos coming up soon, and I can do probably do each of those in one single video. So we'll cover all that stuff soon, and uh, and I'll uh, you know I'll bring that stuff to you guys as soon as I can. So let me know what you think of this. This is the ending of these collections for the Ghost Rider Danny Ketch stuff, and anything we talk about from here on out might be digital related, but you won't see me do any more Danny Ketch collections. Uh, but yeah, pick up other trades, other things we'll talk about them in future episodes. Uh, let me know what you guys think of all this in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching these videos. I really do appreciate it, and I'll have more Ghost Rider stuff coming to you very soon. Thanks so much. Like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you in hell. Peace.